Hi everybody, welcome back to another vlog. As promised in my last vlog, I wanted to get some more Halloween decorations and I'm sure I'll get more before Halloween, but um, I got these blow up things from Walmart. Um, just a cat in a jack-o-lantern, a ghost in a jack-o-lantern. They had some really cute ones. I don't know. I just really like the simple ones. My husband wanted like a Mandalorian one or something. Um, but I just wanted to keep it simple. I like the little ones. So got those. And then we got some stuff for, where is it? For some um, fun, funny cupcakes. We're actually going to make these tomorrow. Um... We're not gonna save them for Halloween, but here's the Fun Fuddy mix. Then we got some orange frosting and sprinkles. And then we also got these. Um, they have little bat um, oh, rings to put on top and then little bat cupcake liners. I have a bunch of fall desserts I wanna make, but we're gonna start off with those because the kids were with us when we were at Walmart and that's what they wanted. And then I need some brushes. So I got two more wet brushes. I got one of the square ones and then one of like the original ones. Um, I don't know, I kind of prefer this style of brush. I'm sure there's not really that much of a difference. Oh no, the baby's waking up. Okay, and then some like actual things. I'm gonna save these for Halloween, but I got a spider cloth table cover. I got these, this plate, these plates, paper plates. I just thought these were really cute. And then um, a few days ago, my husband got these drip drop um, electrolyte things and they're okay. I didn't love them. And I was like, oh, these are kind of like those liquid IV. So then my husband went and he found the liquid IV at Walmart. This one is better. The drip drop is better. They both taste really chalky, but the drip drop has like a good flavor to it. The liquid IV is like too sweet. I don't like it, which is kind of a bummer because I've been wanting to try it for a while because like all these, I mean, mostly on like podcasts, we'll get liquid IV as a sponsor. It's just like really chalky and really sweet. The drip drops are chalky, but they're like a good flavor, good sweetness. I do kind of prefer these. Uh, and then the very last thing I got, is this broom i've been trying to like get more decorations for the house um my son actually saw this in the fall um it was in the fall decor area and i just had to have it i'm gonna leave it up all year round though and it smells really good too it has like one of those cinnamon smells i'm sure it won't last very long um but i just this is just like a nice cute little rustic thing especially just to put right there by the door i really love it Okay, so I've got like a little Dr. Squatch haul. Um, my husband got a bunch of things. If you're new here, by the way, my entire channel, my vlogs, it's all it's just like shopping and then occasionally food. Um, but my husband got some Dr. Squatch stuff and I like using this stuff too. It smells really good. Um, a new little soap thing. Um, Dr. Squatch soap, just to put it on gold moss. This is like my favorite currently. Um, they changed their packaging also. This is like my favorite soap currently. Um, it smells really, really good. Sea salt is zero grit, five ounce soap bar. Um, cedar citrus, cedarwood oil, zero grit. This one's not my favorite. Then pine tar, this one's also really good. Oatmeal and sand, heavy grit. He also got a deodorant. Um, this smells so good. If you have like a husband, boyfriend, fiance, whatever, get this for them. This smells so, so good. Birchwood Breeze. And then a shampoo and conditioner. So this is the, okay, so this is a cool citrus conditioner. I don't love this scent. I think it's, I just, um, I don't love their citrusy scents, I think. But the shampoo is really good. Cypress Coast. Um, oat protein, jojoba oil, honey, sulfate and paraben free, also good for women's hair too. Um, the conditioner is shea butter, avocado oil, menthol. Um, like I said, this isn't my favorite scent. Actually, here, this is like his old conditioner and um, I've been using it as shaving cream because I just, he doesn't use conditioner ever and like I don't like the smell of this one so I just use it as shaving cream but you can see how they changed the packaging. But yeah, there's just that little haul. I really like this stuff. My husband really, really likes this stuff. And yeah. Okay, guys. Um, I just filmed a couple sit-down videos and I have a little, little 
Sheen haul. I placed this order because for this headband. Um, my husband and I have an, I don't even know what to call it, but we, we are dressing up and I get to wear a ball gown. What I think I'm gonna do is put my hair up and then I got this headband. It's like a two layered headband. It's beaded, it's got like blue and silver beads and it's got like some rhinestones. So um, I'm hoping this will look good with it. It's really pretty. And then you can like, you know. And, but would that look cute if I did like a little, little updo? Um, and then I got this necklace. I have no idea what necklace to wear. So I got this layered necklace. I don't know, I have a lot of like pendants I could wear, but um, just in case I wanna go for the layered look. I did get a silver layered necklace because all of my layered necklaces are either gold or rose gold. So I got this. Oh, it's not all attached. I kind of prefer layered necklaces when they are all attached. Okay, so these two are attached. Okay, so it came as like two different sets of necklaces. So I could always, I think in the picture, they were wearing them all together. But I guess I could always just like choose one of these to wear. But like in the picture online, it was like all of these together. They come as like two sets. So. The first one has like this little coin with a rose on it. And then it also has this little angel. And then the second one has like this big chunky chain. And then this. You are so crazy. This little rose. And then is this just, and then yeah, then this one's just a silver circle. So I guess we're just gonna wing it, see what happens with those. And then I also got this necklace. It just says the year that I'm born, 1994. Just a simple little gold necklace. Like it's cute, right? So there's that. And then I got a sticky bra. Um, for the dress. And then I also got some new jeans. Let me actually go ahead and try these on for you guys um, so I can show you. Okay, so here's the jeans. I feel like when I look at pictures, I love the way light wash jeans look on other people. The last pair of jeans I got from Sheen were also light wash. But then I think I just prefer darker on me. So here there's tons of distressing. They're like high waisted. I might have been able to go for a small. I got them in a medium. I don't know, the medium fits fine, but I just feel like it's a little loose up here, up top. But then it fits my legs good, you know? And then what I really like about it is the ankle. Can you see that? And it's got like these distressed, frayed. The girl in the picture was wearing these with heels, and so I was like, is this one of those clothing items that is only gonna look good with heels? But then I went down and looked at the reviews and people in the review, the reviews were posting pictures wearing them with um, like just regular sneakers and they still looked really cute on them. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try them. I haven't worn them with sneakers yet. I've only worn them with Crocs. I also have one sock on, one sock off. Like clearly I got it together, you know? Um, I don't know, like they're really cute, but I just can't put my finger on it. Like I don't, there's something about them that I don't love. Maybe it's because they're loose up here. So I know that like, I'm going to be pulling them up all the time, but they're a medium. And the other jeans I got from Sheen that are a medium fit perfectly. Like they might even be kind of tight at the waist. So I don't know, I think their jeans are just like not a perfect, um, the sizing might be not so perfect. Anyways, that's that. And that's it for this little sheen haul. I'm gonna put this headband back on. I'm gonna wear these jeans the rest of the day, put this little headband back on. I never wear this headband, but it will matches this shirt like perfectly, um, which I got 
from Lookbook, and that video hauling me, hauling my, my lookbook is already, my lookbook haul is already up. So that's it for this little haul. This video is just hauls. Um, my HelloFresh box is coming today though. I didn't get HelloFresh for two weeks. And for the past two weeks, it has been a pain in the ass coming up with meal ideas. So I'm excited to not have to think about what I'm gonna eat for the next few days. It's just, it's there, I cook it, it's healthy. I'm really loving HelloFresh lately. So um, I will show you those and then I have no idea what else is going on this week. Good morning. I just picked up groceries and I also went to Dutch Bros. We had Dutch Bros in Washington, but um, I don't know. I feel like they weren't that popular. I've gone a couple times, but didn't get anything. I think I got like a plain vanilla latte or something like that, but everyone hypes them up. So I thought I'd give it another go. So I got the, what is this? Cake batter freeze. My friend, Mary. Hi, Mary. If you're watching this, she says this is what she gets. Oh my god, that's so good. I was looking at their menu last night. They have so much like, I don't know, just like insane stuff on their menu. And everything sounds so good. And I was like, I want to try all of these. That's really good. And then for my husband, I got, this is a pumpkin, caramel pumpkin cold brew. Ooh, that's really good too. I think I like the cake batter one better though. All right, I'm gonna go inside and show you what we got from the store. Okay, so really quick grocery haul, just the fun stuff. Um, I got a lot of baking stuff. We'll be doing them slowly over the next month. Um, we're not doing it all at once, but first off, I got caramel. I wanna do caramel apples dipped in white chocolate with like cinnamon sugar sprinkled on top. I got one from a place like uh, a few years ago. It was so good. I'm gonna try to make some myself. So got some caramel for that. Um, of course, the Pillsbury pumpkin and ghost cookies. We will probably do these ones tomorrow, actually. You can probably hear Barney in the background. Hold on, let me turn that down. I got the get some water bottles. My kids need some new water bottles for school because they keep losing them. So um, I just got them each a new water bottle. Um, and then I got this little calendar countdown when pumpkins are glowing and witches are seen only however many days left until Halloween. So I'm gonna put this up. I got a bunch of these box mixes. First off, this cranberry orange muffin mix. I can't remember if I got it last year or the year before. I think it was the year before. It's so good. So, so, so good. Um, I got cake mix and um, canned pumpkin. Um, I did this a few years ago. You take spice cake mix, mix it with pumpkin, add chocolate chips, and do muffins. So um, I got a ton of chocolate chips. And then I got this pancake mix this time. The pancake mix that I shared, I got two different boxes of pancake mix in my last vlog. We already used up both of them. Um, but this time, I got this Halloween sprinkle pancake mix. It's basically just Halloween funfetti. And then I want to do some Halloween um, hot, ch hot cocoa bombs. I actually got orange chocolate melts and they were sold out when I did pick up. So I don't have those, but we still have a lot of chocolate. So I'll just have to do it with the Alpi orange. So I got these ghost marshmallows for that. I got some Halloween sprinkles for that. I'm sure we'll use this for other stuff too. Um, we could even put them on or in the pancakes, make them even more confetti. And then some pumpkin spice hot cocoa mix. This is just great value. And then for chocolate, um, this is going to be for hot cocoa bombs and the apples. I just got this vanilla flavored, basically white chocolate, but not actually white chocolate. And then these will be for hot cocoa bombs and the chocolate chip muffins I want to make. I got two bags of dark chocolate. These, just to make the house smell good, um, 
I already have the Febreze Apple um, in my house, but one of them already ran out already, so need to replace them. And then I'm so excited for this. We're gonna be the Cool House this Halloween. I got two boxes of these. I hope this is enough. There's 18 in each. So hopefully we have enough for all the kids, but um, Juicy Drop Pop, Baby Bottle Pop, Push Pop, and Ring Pops. And then I'll probably do like, um, cause I was thinking like, oh, well like I feel bad for the kids that are getting like Juicy Drop Pop and then some kids are getting Ring Pop. Like Ring Pop but some kind of lame. But then I was thinking there's gonna be like toddlers trick or treating who aren't gonna want the messy stuff or the sour stuff. So I'll save the ring stuff, the ring pops for the little ones, and then, I don't know, the other stuff for big kids. Um, so that's what we're gonna pass out this year. Um, I need to hide these from my kids though. And then I got one fun item. I think this is like the only fun item I got that's beauty, but I got some Not Your Mother's Beach Babe dry shampoo. I haven't tried I don't think I've tried the Beach Babe Dry Shampoo. I've tried the one that's in the green bottle though, from Not Your Mother's, so um, I just needed some dry shampoo. I just saw a TikTok and it was uh, this like hairstylist and she's talking about how if you put dry shampoo on your hair right after you shower, um, it'll prevent it from getting greasy and then you don't have to spray it to soak up the grease later. Um, and I've put on dry shampoo like on clean hair just to give my hair more volume. And I have noticed that um, it didn't get as greasy as fast, but I thought maybe it was just all in my head. And so she basically confirmed that it does work. So um, yeah, gonna be trying that. And I also got this wreath for the kitchen. I just, I really like the colors. I like the pumpkin and the pine cones. So I thought I would just change it, the color scheme in the kitchen a bit. My husband also grabbed these. 16 day of the dead cookies decorating kit okay super quick i also got this free to review from influencer um oxy clean um i don't know like a washing machine pause. this is a pretty decent size bag too for a free one to review 42 packs that'll last us quite a while i mean not super long because i have four kids but I don't know, usually when I get stuff like this, it's usually small ones, so that's pretty exciting. Um, so if you guys missed my last vlog, I shared all my kids' Halloween costumes, except for my youngest, because I kind of decided later that I wanted her to be Olaf, but they don't make really like Olaf costumes for little babies, they only do for toddlers. So I just went ahead and got her a snowman one, and this will be nice for Halloween and Christmas, and then she can also, um, I mean, it's not really a costume, it's more like a sleeper. Um, but then she could also wear um, her siblings old costumes just for pictures and then we'll go like do things in this so that way she'll be a little trio with her sisters who are going to be Anna and Elsa. So if you want to see their costumes check out my last video and then my son's going to be a dragon um, but if you want to see their costumes check out my last video. This is kind of big though this is zero to three months. It'll be big on her but like it's fine it'll it'll last longer that way.
Okay, if you guys watched my last vlog, I ordered some breast milk rings. They sent me the wrong size ring though. I ordered a six, they sent me a nine. You can see the size difference here. Well, my six finally came in the mail about three weeks later. Um, I It's whatever. Here's what they look like. Um, I don't know, I guess I'll save the size nine in case like it ever fits me. It does not fit me and then I used the like stuff to make the breast milk things and I was able to make three, four, five, six, seven. These two I mixed like a little bit of highlighter in just to like experiment with colors and stuff. I saw a lot of people like adding glitter to um, their breast milk gems. I kind of like it without the glitter though. Like all of these are just the breast milk. Um, so, and then if you can see like, I think I need to shave some of the backs down a little bit cause um, they just like, I don't know. I put too much stuff in the like mold. Like that's where the hole in the mold was. So I'm gonna like try to file some of them down, pick my favorite one, put it in the actual ring that fits me, put my second favorite one in the other ring. That way, I don't know, one day maybe it'll fit me. I, and maybe I'll just keep it for like sentimental purposes. And then all the rest I think I'm gonna save and put in my daughter's baby book. Um, I got that, one of the reviews said that's what she did with her extras. So, yeah, some of these gems, by the way, I, can, I don't think you can tell on camera, but some of them do have bubbles, like here, this one. You can see a bubble in this one. So I just need to go through and, um, there's a few that are perfect, though. I think that I got three that had, like, this one has a little bubble. I think I had three that had zero bubbles. Um, so I'm just going to put the two best ones in those, and yeah. Okay, so here is how the ring turned out so pretty but such a pain in the ass to get in the prongs um, and I it's a good thing I had backup because actually the first one that I put in there I scratched and then here is size nine um, and they also they just I feel like they're not in good enough like like the, they could fall out just because it was so hard to get them in so I probably like wouldn't wear it out anywhere I, like I'll probably put it on for like to take pictures of my nails for Instagram or like for a YouTube video like a sit-down video um, I, I just can't see myself actually wearing this out of the house and risk of losing the, the breast milk gem um, it is a really pretty ring though and then there's all the backups and then here's the size 9 it is kind of nice just to have a you know, even if something does happen to this one, and even if I can never wear this one one day, it's nice to have one, I don't know, like for sentimental reasons. Um, but I think that's gonna be it for today's vlog, you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, and here it is on. That's what it looks like on. It is, it, it, it's so beautiful, but I'm just so afraid that that middle piece is gonna fall out. All right, that is it for real now. I will see you guys in the next one.